What say do men have in the abortion conversation? Probably more than you think. Let's go. How many people wait for marriage to have sex? Maybe like 30%. Not even 6.2%. 10% maybe. Hey, we in a new generation. Um, I definitely think uh, 10%. Strong 0%. 2%. Every guy I've talked to, they always want something more. <laughs> They never want to wait. The actual number is, is 20%. 20? 20% of people wait, so one in five. Nearly nine in 10 people who have abortions are not married. Does that strike you as a high number, a low number, or an average number? Uh, I, I think it's an average number. 90% is a pretty high number. Yeah. Interesting statistic, I've never heard that. So I would say yeah. maybe as somebody who doesn't know, it's yeah. a little high. High, that's a high number. What's that? Uh, I think because it's it's mostly a mistake, yeah. so it means they're not together. I think it's pretty high nowadays. You know, people just just date to date. What does that say about our society? Or do you have any thoughts about that? Or no, no comment. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, sad, I would say. Yeah. I think with married couple, it's more controlled. It's more controlled okay. in terms of, okay, are we keeping this baby or we just want to get rid of it? So we're talking about nine in 10 abortions happen to people who are not married, right? 60% of those, but girls already have kids and there isn't a guy that wants to marry them. The economy sucks, I don't know. I don't even know. No? Yeah, that's, I don't know, it's just too much money, I guess. If I had a girl and I didn't know her and she got a baby, what do you she mean got, you didn't know her? like, if it's like just like, if yeah, one okay. night thing, okay. Okay. if she had a kid, I would leave too, because that's not me. And that's not my kid, because I didn't know. <laughs> so I'll leave. All right. So I'm going to put you on the hot seat. What does that say about a culture where a man has sex with a woman and doesn't want to marry her, doesn't really care for her having kids, and then doesn't really care for her unborn kid that he just had with her? So, uh, mm. yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's. What say does a man have in the abortion conversation? They shouldn't have any. They, they shouldn't have any. They shouldn't have should. any. Yeah, You're I think they should. You shouldn't have That's any. That's what I mean. Say. Abortion conversation. Ooh. I think it all depends on the situation and, like, what the relationship is between, like, the man and the woman. It depends, right? Like, I think in general, they should know, mm -hmm. at least know what the woman is intending to do. Mm. But I think uh, it's the woman's decision ultimately what she does with her body. Really? Do you think that kind of thinking maybe perpetuates the cycle where guys kind of don't care about women? I think a lot of times the guy is just scared. And at the end of the day, physically wise, it's, it's going to be up to the woman to, yeah. to see if like she's comfortable with actually having it or not. It's up to the woman. If yeah. I don't want to keep it, I'm okay. sorry. It's women's rights. It's mm -hmm. their bodies, you know. So I think it's okay if they want to take care of something. If they're not ready, you don't want a child having a child. If the guy doesn't have an opinion yeah. about the abortion, what if the guy also doesn't have an opinion in the kid being raised? He's going to abolish child support. We don't have to... Exactly. Raise. She gets pregnant, hypothetically, right? Can you just give her the deuces and never show up again? What do you mean? Like, go out and get some milk and never come back? You ghost. Yeah. Oh. Is that okay? I might come back after 20 years, you know? What <laughs> What should his response be? Mm, I don't know. Maybe not that response. <laughs> I, would not, I would never do such a thing. When you get in a relationship like that, yep. it's not whose responsibility is it. Okay. It's both of your responsibility. Correct. Stop I think they need to man up because that happened to me when I was oh, really? in college. Where a girl, I mean, my girlfriend came to me and said, I, I think I'm pregnant, I'm wow. going to have an abortion, and you need to pay for it. And... I was like, I didn't know what to do, I didn't know what to say. Yeah. I just said, I'm paying for this. But now, 40 years later, yeah. I'm still thinking about I should have met up and I should have oh. said, you know what, let's just work it out, let's have this kid because that kid could have been two years older than my oldest daughter. Wow. Like a guy is like, you ain't gonna have that baby. 70% of abortions are like that. How, how does that make you My girlfriend not to have, not to have a boy. To have an abortion. To not have one? To, to have one. To have one. To have one. So and, I, and, and, I'm, and, I'm, and it hurts me so bad now wow. that, that I don't have no kids. Oh, really? Really. Wow. So that hurt me pretty bad. Now, now that I know, I wish y'all had changed that. I wish y'all had changed it. So what say should men have in the abortion conversation? Should men speak up and be like, hey, you don't have to abort that kid, you can keep that kid? Yeah, I think so. Because we shouldn't, 
We shouldn't be aborting no kids. I want to know the truth. The truth. The truth about sex. I want to know. I want to know the truth about sex.